Hey guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Overkill Desk. Time for an update. Last time, I already showed you how I'm planning to hang the desk or the wooden tabletop from the wall using steel angle brackets, but to be actually be able to do that, I had to come up with a way to attach them to the wall. I looked at various ways of doing this, but in the end I surmised that using plenty of thick enough screws should be enough to hold up the angle brackets and all the wood and the weight that would go on top of it. In total I would wanted to be able to uh, hold up about 200 kilos or something like that. So I looked around and decided on some screws and um, yeah, next thing was drilling holes. So. For the wood, I decided on four and a half millimeter by four centimeter screws. And since the wood itself is five centimeters thick, that should work out nicely because the steel is also uh, six millimeters thick. So that will be okay. And for in the wall, I decided on uh, six millimeters by six centimeter screws. So a bit heavy duty and um, enough of those to keep the steel and the wood well, held to the wall. I quickly found out that drilling these holes by hand and with the, the drills I had available was a completely impossible task. So I looked online and I ordered a cheap drill press to which I could uh, connect an old drill I had because a cordless drill really wouldn't do that well in, uh, in that application. And the cordless drill allows you to uh, basically push a lever which will then uh, angle, well, push down the drill into the steel. And you can hold it there for a while and that will drill your holes. Now to make this a bit easier, I bought cobalt drills online, which are basically the hardest drills you can get, together with some drilling oil uh, to make it as easy as possible. Now this still wasn't like drilling in butter, but it made the process at least doable and within a few hours I was able to drill all the holes I needed. When drilling the steel holes, buy a drill that is half a size bigger than the screw you want to use. So in my case I wanted to use uh, six millimeter screws. So my drill bit is six and a half millimeters and as you can see that fit perfectly. Now for the wooden top part I basically just spaced out some holes and wasn't really precise uh, that it went uh, at several millimeters distance exactly at the same place because it just needs to hold the tabletop and you're not going to see it anyway it just needs to have enough grip to hold the tabletop. But for the pieces that go into the wall I did pay a bit more attention still one centimeter to the left or to the right isn't really that important. Uh, but I made sure to space them correctly and I made them in a pattern which basically you have a lower one and a higher one and a lower one and a higher one and a lower one. You'll see that later on in the video when I mount them to the wall. I surmised that this would give me the best load distribution onto the wall and also the distribution into the bricks into the wall and basically that should make sure it can hold all the weight. So after drilling was done it was time for painting. And although these brackets will be out of sight, well, basically all of the time, um, they came in very rough and dirty and, well, uh, drilling and the oil and it, it was a complete mess after that. So I scraped them off and I cleaned them and then I sanded them a bit and then I used some radiator paint to paint the brackets. I used many layers on top of each other and, well, I really suck at painting. So the result isn't that great, but it does, it's at least a lot better than it was before. And it's more than good enough for my application where they won't be in sight anyway. I used radiator paint because it should be able to stand up to some wear and tear. And uh, hopefully it'll stay good for years. So hanging these steel angle beams or brackets to the wall. This was a pretty big chore because these things were heavy by, its, by themselves. And I need to figure out how to get them at the right height on the wall and also get to get them level and then drill the holes in the right places and have it all lined up and still be level when drilled. Now I had my girlfriend help with this and we did an okay job, uh, but we're just, this is a 
but but my camera is telling me it's broken the connection. Well, camera, hello, am I still there? Connected. Well, then why am I not seeing anything? Did you crash? Did you crash? Don't crash. Oh, hello, I'm back. So, with a little help from my girlfriend, we figure out how to level the beams and also punch holes through the, the holes I drilled into the wall so that I knew where to drill. Now, I started off doing this and by the end I did this, I figured out the correct way to do it. So I'll share with you guys the correct way to do it so you don't make the same mistakes I do. So the best way, or at least I figured out how to do this is the following. First, take your measurement tape and set the height you want the tabletop to go to or to end up at. And make sure you take into account the six millimeters of the angle brackets and the five centimeters of the wood that are going on top of it. Set your level and we basically set the level to the height of the angle brackets and then make little lines on the wall so you can line up the angle brackets to that. Then hold the angle brackets in place and punch the most left and right outer holes and drill those holes, put in plugs and then screw the angle bracket to the wall. Check your measurements again and then punch through all the other holes, drill those and then put in plugs and secure the whole angle bracket to the wall. That should be the best way to get a level and the angle bracket at the correct height. In practice, it isn't that easy, but with this method, you should be able to figure it out. Don't drill the holes of, don't drill all the holes at the same time as we did, or as I did, um, because somehow in the end, you'll mostly end up either not level or some holes not lining up or it moved just slightly while you were punching the holes and just make the least amount of holes you can or probably even make one hole, drill that in, then hold the angle uh, bracket level, punch the second one, drill that in and then punch the rest. And you sh should end up with a good enough result. Are results good enough too? So, well, we'll figure that out when we place the wood, but it should be fine. So even if you have some inconsistencies after doing this, like the heights aren't exactly correct, or some of the angle brackets are maybe a bit crooked, we should be able to fix that when actually uh, putting the wood on top of them. Uh, but more about that in later videos, I guess, because we haven't gotten to that part yet. Now, I didn't want to make this video too long, so that's it for this video. The next update will be about finishing the wood and different options you have for that and the options I went with, or the option I went with. And I'll also talk about the LEDs I'm planning to integrate and the integrated cable ducting. So make sure to stick around for that, maybe subscribe, like that. And uh, let me know if you liked the video or didn't. If you have any comments about my shoddy drilling hole whatever, let me know, I can take it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.